a lot of you have been following uh, my latest invention, which are kettle wall resonant covers designed and built by Russ Cameron. They uh, were created with the understanding that covers can actually be a legitimate uh, sound chamber. Not just a piece of flat metal that was stamped, but could go into a shape that's similar to the shape that's used by all the wind instruments in the uh, orchestra, such as trumpet, trombone, tuba, French horn, clarinet, of the opening for the sound to get out. And of course the chamber allows sound waves to duplicate upon themselves. And This is what the design is for the 16 hole. I have a Gregor Mare coming that has a lower chamber and it's in a white material. I'll have that in a day or two. And then you know about my ergo buttons. Those are hand cut to be comfortable at all angles. There's no sharp edge. And they stick out a little further too. And of course this is my slider which provides friction-free mo friction movement to uh, new uh, note hole positions. And uh, the question, do these fall off? Yeah, sometimes they do. They don't. We experimented with ways to make it stay on the heart, but they increased friction, and I didn't care about that. I didn't want to do that. So uh, let me talk a little bit uh, to those who are uh, critics of uh, inventions as regards harmonicas. Understand that every part of the design of a standard harmonica that you play w was new at some point in history and represented an innovation. So we're just used to new stuff. But it was new. All of it. Every part of it. Music evolves over time, and so do the instruments. If you've played a Honer 270 versus, let's say, a Suzuki or a Seidel uh, Saxony or Symphony, you'd notice that there's a tremendous increase in projection of the instrument from the instruments back 40, 50 years ago. Uh, accomplished through uh, different shaped ABS cones, different reeds, different length of reed, uh, thickness of reed, breast saber construction. Today we have the tough line, which doesn't stick as much. More airtight harps so that they respond very quickly. Uh, you know, the piano, uh, really, uh, kind of the, the clavichord came before the piano, and then there was the harpsichord, and then pianos originally had one stick for every note in Beethoven's time, that was typical, and they would break. And um, the uh, 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 you know the harpsichord had a a wooden harp that held the strings. It wasn't iron. So uh, we're in a state of flux. Um, even violins, you know, Yudi Menuhin, who's a very famous violinist, came up with this invention of a shoulder chin rest that allows the head to be more upright in play. And a lot of people felt, oh, that's cheating and it's inappropriate. But today, 80% of the players use it. And there were similar attacks on the slider that it was cheating and uh, somehow inappropriate. But I don't know. Uh, I'd say of the three inventions here of the ergo button, the slider, and the resonant covers, that the most universally uh, valuable to most players is the resonant covers. They improve the sound for any player, and it doesn't take any skill, additional skill, to get that tone because the sound waves can overlap on themselves. 
like they do in the bell of a trumpet, although in this case, of course, it's only half the bell of a trumpet, and it's quite short compared to what a trumpet would have, but you still get some of that effect. I know that the early sound tests of my Gregor Mare Suzuki G48, done by Russ Kammerer, <clears throat> the designer and builder of the covers, uh, indicate that the sound is quite improved over the stock uh, cover set. I'll have that in a few days, so it'll make sound tests, but I think that you know, my view is it's always the same. You know, I get stuff in here that I invented that somebody puts together and I test it. Some of them I like and they're allowed to go into production and use my name and others, I dare not approve. Russ Kammerer is probably the most talented designer and builder I've worked with because the first prototype was absolutely perfect and worked great. That's really rare. This is actually the first prototype. And if you look at just the nuances and the curvature and the, the just the shaping here and the shaping here and the beautiful uh, you know uh, chambers, which if you think about it, they start off rather flat at the back and then get lots of curvature at the end and they extend beyond the end of the harp by about a half an inch. All decisions made, this curvature in here, all these design decisions that were just Fantastic. I like the great color, but I'm looking forward to the iridescent too. Um, so I guess my view is that I'm not going to say, you know, inventions are always good. I'm just saying that I test them. Some of them are good and they work well. Some of them don't work very well. Um, but I'll judge each one on its own merits. And if the theory behind the invention is good, it can have a good result. I can picture that manufacturers of harps will utilize this concept and mention my name and also Russ's designs as they do that and involve Russ a little bit, maybe me a little bit. Uh, all my inventions were given to the public domain. I didn't have the intent of making money off them. I was really just trying to contribute to the harmonica world. Same with the book, you know, I mean, I, I do get a little revenue there, but not much. And it was really just about helping out musicians to enjoy music more. Anyhow, so that's kind of my attitude. So, I mean, it's like, it's not like people who, you know, you got people who are against inventions and then I'm a proponent. It's not really like that. I mean, I have to know, you know, which invention and is it any good or not? Some of them are, some of them aren't. So I don't know, does that make me an advocate? No, I think it makes me a scientific uh, inventor discoverer, maybe. Someone who just simply ponders ideas and considers things. But I'll tell you this, this cover set, I tried to make them in the garage out of acrylic and I didn't like doing it. So I was very, very pleased that someone stepped up who could do, the, could do it. If you want to order those covers, they're available right now for Suzuki 12, 14, and 16 holers. Passardo Elite. Gold bar for Seidel Saxony, Seidel Symphony, and um, trying to think what else is available for right now. I think that's that's kind of the list. Um, so there, it's available for a lot of instruments, and I'll be doing more sound tests as they come in here. Um, see ya.